And we're back. <coughs> Another episode of Gamer Flavor. Ooh, okay. what it wait a minute. Is that a little it's a little vagine? That's Beaker looking at the crotch, and this is Ricky not having Tell me that. you weren't curious. Look at his little vagine or his boot hole. Listen, I hate to admit it, but it melts me like Hagen Doss. Rose. <laughs> what? That's a rose quote. Yeah, but like, what is the context? And does she mean she's getting she's getting hot? Yeah, I think she's talking about a man turning her of the on. Oh, okay. I'm surprised at how much I enjoyed listening to older ladies talk about their sex lives. But I do love Golden Girls. Oh my god, Blanche. This You gotta tell me if this one's too far. My great granddaddy always said that there are two things you never sell to a friend. A car and a slave. Because if either one of them quits working, you'll never hear the end of it. Of course, they hanged my great great granddaddy. He said a lot of things he shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Blanche. The fuck? I can't believe she even said that. I mean, it's kind of true, though. If you, if the slave or the car quit working, you would never hear the end of it. So... Well, I'm glad they hanged her great-great-granddaddy. Don't quote the great-great-granddaddy that was hanged for what he said. <laughs> I guess if you're quoting, you're not, like, saying it, you know... I don't... Ugh. Did I miss something? Jeez. Let me head back up here. Oh. Is there a swish? Oh. This doy. One of the best lines Britta's like, I don't know the words. And Abed goes, they were in your heart the whole time. She goes, D -d doy. <laughs> me so Christmas, me so merry. Let Britta sing her awkward song. Ugh, no, stop it. She's such the worst. Can't you just grip it with your gun? Uh, Can't you just carry something in front of you this whole time? Like, you have this most OP weapon ever. Now, in Portal, you pick stuff up exactly like this. But it's, it's not your gun, it's just the way that they show that you pick stuff up. That's how they visually represent it, you know? Yeah. Oh, they threw a grenade. Look at you, sucking it up. Your mother was right when she said you'll never amount to anything. Wow. You're no good, Bika. You're just, You're just like, like your father. Your father. Um. Grenade, maybe? If I would catch a grenade, then yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I'll try that next time. Okay, let's try this. Ready or not. <laughs> Garden of Eden. Through messing around. Through messing around. Give me my grenades.
Oh, come on. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ugh. I think that I got him. I got him, yeah. Now you're really taking this seriously. Pull, whooping out the crowbar. Damn it. What, what are you doing? I was trying to guide it. Oh. You could have crowbarred it off, but just smash it with the crowbar, I guess. I'll stop it with this. What am I, what am I stop, okay. Maybe this shovel? Are you kidding me? I mean, what, it's a metal shovel. I just, well the handles would, right? Yeah, but oh. the metal parts would stuck in there. How does he not see me? Just luck, I guess. Ah, you fudged up. You have fudged up now. And they're all stuck right there. Oh, are they attacking something? They're attacking that turret that somehow got righted. Put right side up. Oh, yes. Okay. How did I get over there? Came out that way. Oh, do you? Just a hunch. Yes, come to me, my pets. Kill them! To a swinging condo instead of living with. I better not say anything until I've had my coffee. Sips coffee. A slut and a moron. <laughs> <laughs> She's so mean to them. They're terrible people, though. Are they? You know what? Oh no. Rose is nice. But all the, Rose is really all nice. the other ones are terrible. I think Rose is a nurse, or she works in an assisted living situation. I don't know. For the first four seasons, she's also addicted to pills. Is she really? Yeah. They find out the whole four seasons. Yeah, they find out in season four, episode twenty, okay, that uh, she's been addicted to pills like this whole time. Do you just remember that, or is that in front of you right now? No, I remember that. It's impressive. It's easy to remember 420, season 4, episode 20. Oh, I wondered why you said hey. Okay. I haven't smoked in a year. And I didn't inhale when I did. Hey -o. Insert bong noise. <laughs> we did that digitally. <laughs> It was at that moment I realized my bosoms had the power to make music. 
That sounds like a Luan quote from Hank, uh, King of the Hill. Oh, Luan. I challenge you with my intellectuals. Oh, I need some health. I broke up with Buckley and I never looked back. That's why I still have my eyebrows. <laughs> Just a little health, please. Uh oh. time I gave something back to the chicken community. A chicken once saved my life. Gross. <laughs> that is an excellent quote. I gotta stop reading. Die for your master. Oh my god. If I met a man who was over 70 but still looked halfway decent, I'd be on my back faster than you could say, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> Sophia. That's a, that's a, oh really? I thought that was a Blanche. No, that's Sophia. Hilarious. Blanche isn't dating men over 70. No, you're right. She probably sticks to like 60. 50. 50, really? I'm sure. She's like 50 to 60. She's got a range. It must be 55 and three months. Surprised that, did they ever do an episode where she was with like a much younger man? Oh, I'm, they must have. You would think. Was she like the sugar mama? That was pretty cool. You know, these are these are just people following orders, right? Um, so were the Nazis. That's a weak argument that people always go into. The Nazis did a lot a of bad argument. stuff. That's a good argument. That's why people go into it. You can't just bring up the Nazis every time. They don't have a like a. It's like the best example of people who committed atrocities and tried to use the defense at the Nuremberg trials that they were just following orders. Man, you will do the Hitler comparison at the drop of a hat. You know, Hitler... <laughs> Wait, what was her response to that? I don't know. Something terrible. What are you, the Hitler of Hitler? Shit. Okay, this is the last quote, I swear. Uh huh. Boy, I remember when I was a little girl, when we'd get depressed, Grandma would always cheer us up. She'd take out her dentures and she'd take a healthy swig from the aquarium, and then she'd put a flashlight under her chin and we could watch the goldfish swim from cheek to cheek. We could have watched it all day, but visiting hours were only from 10 to 4. Jesus. What a show. Obviously, I am not on the ground to closely command or second guess the dedicated forces of the Overwatch. But this oh, is Overwatch is coming to save us? Responsibility for recent lapses. And even no, the Overwatch is the uh, tyrant overlord situation we're dealing with. No, no, they're good guys, superheroes. No, it's ignorant. Yeah, it's ignorant. The cavalry's arrived. <laughs> That's a fat tracer. Cavalry's here. <laughs> Stupid bitch. <laughs> Ever get that feeling of deja vu? I, uh. I never liked Tracer. Never liked playing as her anyway. 
I'm never like playing against her anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a pain, like, too. It's probably a good time for the next time on Gamer Flavor. Alright, we'll go around this corner and kill some people with the antlions. Next time. <laughs>